Well, he's a young global leader at the World Economic Forum meet, also a very prominent business leader from India. Uh, Rishad uh, Premji joins us now for his views on where the India story is going at the World Economic Forum and indeed where the IT sector is going as well. Is there a great deal of optimism for India at WEF this year? You know, India always has an amazing turnout, I find, at the World Economic Forum. And India is always an important subject. It's an important market. It's a growing market. And so there's always great conversation around India. It's also amazing to see the number of Indian-born leading CEOs, leading companies across the world. And so the India presence, whether through Indian companies or Indians at WEF, is always very, very prominent. And yeah. it's good to see that. Yeah. And in terms of your own sector, the IT sector, Wipro has been a hub for this. It's a world leader in so many respects. What kind of response have you seen this year to some of the, the, the key areas that you are pursuing? Look, the Indian technology industry is $170 billion this year, right? And I think it has the potential to be twice that size uh, in the next five to 10 years. And so there's tremendous opportunity uh, for the Indian technology industry. I think the big change that is happening is the model at some level is moving from where the model was built around cost and quality to really around differentiation and helping customers tr in tremendously different ways around their digital journeys, around transforming to serve customers in a very human-centric manner, in building the capabilities and new technologies to then deliver on this promise. And so this is tremendous, tremendous areas of opportunity uh, to get this right. Sure. I think the big challenge is skills mm -hmm. and the availability of skills. And it's not like skills exist anywhere in the world today. So the challenge is how do you build these skills because they don't exist across yeah. the globe. And uh, you know, I'm also chairman of NASCOM this year. Yes. One of the big, yes. big areas of focus for us yeah. is the future skilling platform. Mm -hmm. You know, How do you get two million mm -hmm. of the four million people that the mm -hmm. industry uh, employs today yeah. skilled in the areas of the new technologies mm -hmm. for tomorrow? And I think mm -hmm. that will be a critical component Sure. of success and it's sure. very important we stay focused on that. Yeah. One final question, um, just two days back the global inequality report was actually uh, brought out over here where the richest in the world are getting richer while the poorest are getting poorer, lots of statistics. But your father has been an incredible philanthropist. Uh, it's part of the culture of, of, I assume, your family, of your company. How is philanthropy such an essential part of what you do to, to, to help rid you know, the system of the inequality that exists? Look, it's the right thing to do, point number one. And two is, I'm a huge believer, and we as a family are a huge believer that to whom much is given, much is expected, right? So you cannot live in a country like India where the difference between the wealthy and the not wealthy is so stark and so present everywhere you go to not do something about it. Uh, so we think it's, you know, the right thing to do. and. Uh, and we're very, very focused about that. If you ask me what excites me most mm. is the work that we do through our foundation, both in the area of education, where we're an operating entity. So mm. we have people on the ground mm. where we work with seven states in India with 350,000 schools, really to uplift the quality of teachers mm. and to help them be better teachers because mm. we believe at a formative stage, mm. the teachers are the most influential in how students evolve and develop. Mm -hmm. That's one area of focus. Mm. The other is we're a grant-making organization. Mm. So we support NGOs doing really good work in areas of importance mm. around vulnerable mm. groups like adolescent girls, people mm. with disabilities, mm. women of domestic violence, small and marginal farmers. And really, how do you support organizations doing good work to then scale and, and, and enhance the quality of work that they're doing as well? So we're very, very passionate about that. Yeah. It's incredible speaking to you. Thanks so much for speaking Absolutely. to uh, NDTV. Uh, Rishad Premji over there speaking about uh, the prospects of the IT industry, the India story at WEF, and also the spirit of philanthropy, something that's really guided the spirit of Wipro.